So we're gonna stay in our seated position, any easy seat that feels good for you. We're gonna just work on our lumbar spine, just relaxing and soothing the parts of our bodies. We're gonna place our palms on our yoga mats beside our bodies, using our palms to connect to our environment. Just taking a moment to notice what is going on around us right here, right now in our present moment. Simply being aware, being mindful of, without judgment. During our session here today, we may hear noises and sounds. We may become distracted. However, may we only allow into our practice, into our minds and our bodies, what is comforting and soothing for us in our practice here today. We're going to relax here, silent meditation, three breaths. Two breaths. As we flow our palms above our heads, coming into a seated salute, fingertips flows up towards the heavens, feeling that stretch. Shoulders flows upwards towards the ears, elongating that spine there. Heart chakra is open. Chin is up. Interlacing the fingers with that pointer finger pointing up towards the heavens, allowing the arms to slightly flow towards the back. You'll feel this in your lumbar spine, your lower back. We're going to hold this three breaths, two breaths, and exhale into center, separating the palms, coming into that seated extended mountain. As we twist the body towards the right, palms come downward towards the earth as we gaze over our right shoulder, seated twist. To go deeper in that twist, connecting that left hand to that right knee. Allowing the spine to soothe and decompress as our eyes flutter downward. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale into center, flowing into a seated star. In our star, our arms are slightly outward towards the side. Flow into our extended mountain palms above our head. They are not together. Twisting the body towards the left, palms come downward towards the earth as we gaze over that left shoulder, feeling that twist opposite side. To go deeper in that twist, connecting that right hand to that left knee, gaze in the eyes downward. Three breaths. Two breaths. And telling our body back to center, flowing into that star. Exhale to extended mountain. Flow into our salute, palms together. Breathe in. Exhale, palms come heart center, seated prayer. Relaxing those shoulders downward away from the ears. Our tummies are tucked in at our navel. Our spinal cords are nice and elongated, meaning we are not sunken having control of our backs. Gaze in the eyes downward or closing them if that feels good. Using this time to go inward, focusing on self. Three breaths of silence. Exhale, relaxing our palms downward at our laps. We're going to flow into a cat pose. Now when our chin will come towards our cavicle, tummy's tucked in, spinal cord flows to the back of the room. I'm sorry. Exhale to cow, opening up their heart chakra. Back comes nice and elongated. Chin is up. Flowing back to cat. Tucking that tummy in at the navel. Flowing back to cow. Exhale, cat. We are working at spine. Coming to our cow. Relaxing at center. It's taking a moment to check in. Placing our right palm on the yoga mat. 
as we breathe that left arm up in the air, over our heads, feeling our bodies lean towards the right, seated side bend. You'll feel this stretch in your side body as we slightly gaze up at the heavens, opening up that heart chakra. We're gonna hold this four breaths. Two breaths. Exhale into center, placing that left palm on the earth. As we breathe the right palm up in the air, flowing it over the head, feeling that stretch. Body leans to the side, seated side bend, opposite side. You may feel that stretch in the side body, slightly gazing up at the heavens, opening up their heart chakra. Four breaths. Two breaths. Exhale back to center, both palms are on the earth. Taking a moment to check in as we breathe in deeply. Exhale through the mouth. Taking a moment to notice how the breath feels within the body. Two more breaths. As we flow our feet to a bound position, coming into a diamond or butterfly, the bottoms of our feet are connecting. We are in our bound pose. This here is a hip opener. We are using this pose to relax and soothe and open up our hip flexors here. Connecting our hands to our ankles. Our heart chakras open, our chin is up. As we allow our head to relax between our shoulder blades, we are in our bound cow pose. Three breaths. Tummies are tucked in, two more breaths. Flow into our cat, bringing our chin to clavicle, tummies tucked, spinal cord flows to the back of the room, three breaths. Two breaths. Flowing back to our bound position as we slightly hinge at the hips. Noticing that when we hinge at the hips, you may feel it a little deeper here in your inner thighs. So only going down as deep as your body comfortably allows you to go down. My voice is just a guide, listening to your body and doing what feels best for you. As our shoulder blades melt forward, coming deeper into that forward fold, head melts downward towards our feet. Taking nice, subtle breaths here, feeling the body relax. Relaxing those hip flexors. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling up, we are back in our diamond or our butterfly, using our hands to bring our legs inward, coming into a staff pose. Legs are parallel side by side. Toes are pointing upwards towards the heavens. Spinal cords are nice and elongated. Shoulders relax downward away from the ears as we are gaze forward. Heart chakras open, chin is up. Relaxing here in our staff pose. Just taking a moment to go inward. Three breaths. Two breaths. As we breathe our palms above our heads and our salute, feeling that stretch, fingers close up towards the heavens, chin is up, heart chakras open. Breathe in. Exhale, prayer, palms come heart center. Relaxing those shoulders downward. As we slightly hinge at the hips, coming into that half forward fold. Optioning to reach our hands down to our ankles or the bottoms of our feet. Coming into that complete forward fold as our torso melts down, head come downward towards our knees if we are able for breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale enough to half as we come back to our staff pose. Backs are straight, tummies are tight. Right knee is flat on the earth. Right knee is up in the air. We're going to take this right foot, if we choose, and cross it over our left leg. Taking our right hand behind our backs with our fingertips facing away from us. We're working on our spinal twist. Sage Marigi. We're going to take this 
Left elbow, cross it over that right knee. If that feels good, coming deeper into our spinal twist. We are gazing, relaxing, and soothing the spine. Eyes are fluttered downward. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling the body back to center. Gonna uncross that leg, coming back into that staff pose. Hinging at the hips, coming into a half forward fold or a complete forward fold. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale into a half, coming back to a staff pose. Working on that left side. Left knee comes up in the air. Left foot is flat on the earth. If we choose, we can cross this left foot over that right. Taking this left hand behind my back with our fingertips facing away from us as we gaze over that left shoulder, feeling that spinal twist. Optioning to cross this right arm over that left, going deeper into that twist. This is a seated twist or a Lord of the Fish pose. Four breaths. Two breaths. Exhale the body back to center. On crossing that foot, coming back into that staff pose. Tummy's tight, spinal cord is nice and long as we breathe our palms up in the air. Coming to heart center, seated prayer. Relaxing those shoulders, relaxing the palms at heart center. We're going to take this right leg, bring it back up in the air, right knees in the air, right foot is flat on the earth. We're going to bring this right arm up in the air. Lean our bodies towards the left. Lean forward, lowering that right arm. We're going to wrap this right arm around that right leg. We are now in that stage we're reaching. One. We can option to take this left hand, bring it behind our backs, and then to lace our fingers. This is a sage Marici. Now, if we ever have a client who can't get into the sage Marici, we can always option to do that Lord of the Fish pose, which is this. See that there? So it looks very similar. That way, when we're teaching our yoga classes, the students won't feel awkward being in different poses. So this is that Lord of the Fish, a.k.a. Spinal Twist. And this is that Sage Marici. See that? They look very similar. We're going to hold this for two more breaths. And we're going to unwrap that leg. We're going to come back out to that staff pose. And we're going to do that Sage Marici opposite side, bringing that left leg, left foot flat on the earth. Left knee is in the air. Left arm comes up. Lean the body towards the right. Lean forward. Arm comes down, wrapping his left arm around that left leg. Just feeling that stretch. This is an option to take the opposite hand and wrap it around the back and then to lace those fingers. This is just an option. You don't have to do that. That's an option. And this is a Sage Marici 1, meaning our heart chakra is open, chin is up. A Sage Marici 2 is when we hinge at the hips, leaning that torso downward towards the thigh, head comes slightly down. That's a Sage Marici 2. So whatever feels best, we're just going over the options. And again, the Lord of the Fish that looks very similar is crossing that foot over there and going into that spinal twist. So they look very similar, but they are not the same. We're going to uncross that leg, coming back into our staff pose, relaxing the body, hinging at the hips, half forward fold or complete forward fold. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back up. We are in our Staff pose, we're going to flow onto our backs. We're not going to do any wrist poses here today, Miss Wendy, okay? So we're going to flow onto our backs. <laughs> we're going to bring our knees into our chest, hugging our knees into our chest. Allowing our shoulder blades to melt back into the yoga mat. Taking a nice breath in. Exhale. Feeling on the body relax and soothe as we flow into our happy baby. Lifting the feet up in the air. Knees are outward towards the side. Happy baby. Hands come between the thighs. 
coming out towards the side, connecting our hands to our feet. Here in our happy baby, we are relaxing and soothing, allowing the earth to relax and soothe our spinal cord, opportunity to rock the body from side to side as the earth soothes and massages the spine. Or we can simply stay still in our happy baby. We can even flow into a shoulder press by lifting our foot over our shoulder. Whatever feels best for you, we're going to freestyle, relaxing and soothing in our happy baby for six natural breaths. Four breaths. Two breaths. As we breathe our legs up in the air, legs on the wall poles or invisible wall. As we point our toes upwards towards the heavens, coming into that plantar flex, ballerina's foot, pointing those toes upwards towards the heavens. We're going to reach our hands downward to the back of our lower leg. We're going to breathe our legs towards our torso. Feeling that stretch. Buttocks may come slightly off the earth. Legs, the torso stretch. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale, legs back up in the air. As we breathe our legs apart, coming into that reclined wide-legged stretch, you'll feel this in your inner thigh. <sighs> Just relaxing and soothing. We can option to connect our hands to our toes if we choose. Two more breaths. Exhale, breathing the legs back inward, legs on the wall. Breathing our knees into our chest, hugging them in. Breathe in. Exhale. Knees close towards the left, recline final twist. Allowing the knees to flow towards the left. Feeling that spinal cord twist, decompress, relax, soothe. As our right arm goes out to the side like a lowercase t. We are gazed up at the heavens. We are gazed over that right shoulder. Allowing the shoulder blades to melt back into the yoga mat. Eyes are gazed down with a close. Relaxing, silent meditation for natural breath. Two breaths. Exhale, body back to center, knees to chest, hugging the knees in. Breathe in. Exhale. Knees go to the right, recline, spinal twist, opposite side. Feeling that spine relax. Twisting and soothing as we extend that left arm out to the side like a lowercase t. We gaze up at the heavens or gaze over that left shoulder. Our spinal cords or our shoulders are relaxed back. Our eyes are gazed downwards. As we relax and soothe, going inward. Four natural breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back to center, hugging those knees into the chest. Keeping our knees up in the air. We're going to breathe our feet flat on the earth. Knees flat on the earth. Knees up in the air. Placing our palms next to our buttocks on the floor. Palms are flat downward next to our buttocks. We're going to flow into a bridge pose. Using our feet and our palms to lift our gluteus maximus, our hip flexors up in the air. This here is a pelvic tilt. Tilting that pelvic bone forward. You'll feel your gluteus maximus, your buttocks muscles 
get nice and tight and lift it here. I'm sorry, lift. Lifting and strengthening that gluteus maximus. We can stay here in this bridge or we can go deeper in the bridge interlacing our fingers underneath our buttocks, walking our shoulder blades towards our spine as our torso comes higher in the air as well as our hip flexion comes higher. We are now in a high bridge, deep bridge. And we can pause the body up and down. That gluteus maximus goes slightly downward and we're going to pulse it up and you'll feel that nice tight squeeze and burn in a gluteus maximus. And we can pulse it down and we can hold it up and squeeze it nice and tightly and hold it or we can pulse it up and down several times going up and down. Whatever feels good for you, six natural breaths of our bridge pose, either high bridge or low bridge. Squeeze in that gluteus maximus, four breaths. Fill in a squeeze, three breaths. Two breaths, exhaling down, squeezing it up nice and tight. Squeeze, squeeze, some of the burn. We're going to hold it through a bonus. Three more breaths, squeeze it nice and tight. Two breaths, squeeze, squeeze. Exhale, relax, uninterlacing those fingers, untucking those shoulders, breathing the knees to the chest, hugging them in, relaxing the body, breathe in. Exhale, relaxing the body. Two breaths. With our knees hugged into our chest, we're going to take that right foot, that right leg, lift it slightly up, crossing that right foot over that left knee, that left thigh. We are in our reverse pigeon. Breathing our legs towards our torso, towards our chest. You'll feel that relax and soothe, that right gluteus maximum. This is relaxing and soothing. It is a counter stretch to what we just did. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale back to knees to chest, hugging them in. We're going to switch sides, crossing that left foot over that right thigh. Pigeon opposite side, reverse pigeon opposite side, breathing that knee towards the torso. You'll feel that relaxing stretch in that left gluteus maximus. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale back to knees to chest, hugging them in. Breathing our legs up on the wall, legs on the wall poles or invisible wall. Pointing those toes upwards towards the heavens, feeling that stretch. Reaching our hands down to the bottom parts of our legs as we breathe our legs towards our torso. Legs to torso stretch, buttocks may come slightly off the earth. Two breaths. Exhale back to legs on the wall. Breathing our knees into our chest. Extending our legs side by side. Rest pose, Shavasana. Legs are parallel side by side. The sides of our feet are connecting, are touching. As we allow our feet to fall to the side like a knee. Completely relaxing our knee. As our shoulder blades melt back into the yoga mat. As we place our palms, our arms at any part of our body that feels special, on our legs, on our chest, on the sides of our bodies, whatever feels good to you. Optioning to grab a blanket and cover up with it, that feels good, warming and soothing the mind and body. As our eyes flutter down, let me take this time to check in with self, noticing how we feel right here, right now, in our present moment, without judgment. Always being kind and loving to oneself. Silent meditation, five natural breaths. Three breaths. Two breaths.
keeping our eyes gazed down, what we're going to roll onto our side, coming into a fetal pose. Relaxing here in our fetal pose for a couple breaths. Three more breaths. Wiggle on our toes, rotating our feet and our ankles, moving our bodies and our hips and our hip muscles. As we are waking our body, using our top hand to lift our bodies up, coming into a seated pose, any seated pose of choice, I'm going to come into cow face legs. May you find any choice that feels good for you and your body. Optioning to continue to wrap the body for comfort. Our tummies are tucked at our navel. Our spinal cord is nice and elongated. Shoulders relax downward at our ears. Our chin is relaxed. Our facial muscles are relaxed. Our forehead is relaxed. As we take a nice, deep, intentional breath in, exhale through the mouth. Breathing our palms at heart center. Gaze in the eyes downward or close in the eyes if that feels good. As we use this time to thank ourselves for allowing ourselves to practice self-care here today. For in a busy, busy world, it is a beautiful thing when we find time for self. And I would like to thank you so much for allowing me and Wendy and Michelle to practice our teaching skills with you here today for it truly, truly, truly is a blessing. The light in me sees, appreciates, and respects the light in you all. Namaste, love and light. <laughs>